really easy for me to see, um, as far as Bethesda games go, how, like, a Fallout game could be scary, right? It's easy to see that, right? I could very easily see how this would be scary to a kid. Whereas with something like Morrowind or Skyrim or Oblivion, you gotta get a little bit deeper into the game to, to see parts that are like, oh shit, this is actually fucking terrifying. If you were a little kid with a really overactive imagination, this could theoretically just scare the shit out of you. <laughs> right? I wonder if, like, uh, Starfield will continue down that road, right? Will there be some light horror elements to Starfield? Fuck. I kind of hope so, right? You know, all these games, there's always going to be someone, it'll be someone's first game. Why shouldn't it, why should the newest generation of kids who are just being introduced to BGS games, why shouldn't they also get traumatized? When we had last left, the prisoner bound by prophecy. They were at the Telvani Tower of Telfir, where they were in search of Devathfir and a cure to the divine disease, Corpus. And it was there that they did perhaps find exactly that. However, first they would have to delve into the bowels of the Corpusarium and seek out one Yagrum Bagarn and appease Devath Fear in order to receive an experimental potion, a cure, perhaps, to the disease. But, as it turned out, the Corpusarium was filled not only with victims of the Corpus disease and amazing treasures that Devath Fear encouraged visitors to partake in trying to get, but so too was it filled with with the last living Dwemer. Yes, Yagram Bagarn, as it turned out, was one of the long since disappeared, disappeared, vanished, <laughs> gone Dwemer people. And it was there that they had learned many a great deal about some of the goings on of Morrowind and the Dwemer as well. However, with all of that out of the way, and with a slew of new equipment, the prisoner did finally receive the cure to Corpus. And now it was time, well, sort of the cure to Corpus, in a, in a way. <laughs> and now it was time to return back to Caius. This is the Elder Scrolls Three, Morrowind. This is Morrowind Mondays. Welcome back. There we go. Let us also pin our little map up top and, of course, acknowledge that not too long ago it was the 1st of May, which, as always, every year when we're doing these Morrowind Mondays, we come around that amazing time, and that means, hey, it's Morrowind's birthday. Came out on the 1st of May. Now, don't, there's a lot of things that begin on the 1st of May. A lot of things. <laughs> Outdoor something begins that day, but... So too begins the another year of existence for, for Morrowind. <laughs> Jesus. But uh, this time it was the 20th year celebration and all of that, right? There were a lot of fun posts, people reminiscing. Um, shout outs, of course. I, I did some shout outs to on, on Twitter and all of that, if you've seen that. Um, in particular of note, I would say check out Danae, Danae Plays. Her YouTube channel because she has been doing some interviews with very cool and interesting folks in and around the Morrowind YouTube community who have been like super long-standing members of it even before me or are involved in like really big projects and stuff there's people involved in um, like Skywind people involved in the OpenMW project uh, I want to say there was at least one person involved in Tamriel rebuilt specifically um, there's been folks who are also a very long time, long, long standing people in the YouTube Morrowind community and all of that. If you've seen the Morrowind modding showcases, they got Dark Elf Guy over there on the podcast. Um, Variax has been over there. Both really great folks, I think. Just as well, Danae, I think. Really cool. Um, yeah, definitely give that 
uh, a bit of your time if you can, right? I know I, I said as much on, on Twitter, but I, I know shout outs don't really ever carry much weight, but definitely look into it. If uh, there's some very fascinating interviews and, you know, it's just cool reminiscing. And if you want mine as well, uh, for the 15 year anniversary, so it's a bit of a dated video. Maybe we'll, we'll do a re-up for like, I don't know. The 30th year anniversary, because, you know, threes are really important in Morrowind. <laughs> but um, maybe then we'll, we'll I'll do something, I'll like remake it or something along those lines. But the 15 year one still holds up. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll link that and um, the playlist for that podcast that Danae has been producing in the description or a pinned comment or something. Hopefully I remember to do that. But yeah, I did a 15 minute or 15 minute, a 15 year anniversary one, I guess five years ago, roughly. Uh, reminiscing and remarking on my own experiences with Morrowind. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool whole thing to have nostalgia over, right? You know, figured we should throw this in here because, <laughs> you know, it's meant to be like a, a fun time capsule with Morrowind Mondays, right? Uh, once, a, once a week and all of that until the end of time or whatever, right? Anyhow, let us carry on with the actual game with our own business here. Look, Delta is getting pretty enthused with what's about to fucking go down here. Let's take a look inside of this golden door of of astonishment. Let's see. Let's actually quick save just as well, just in case. Sorry as well. This video will be going out a little bit later than I would like. It's because just some wild shit popping off in the United States. <laughs> Sheesh. Please, uh... Definitely, uh, like, I don't know what good it'll do now, but shit, it's it's worth a shot. Whatever you can do, support fucking people's own autonomy over their bodies and whatnot. All right, let's see over here, and let's do a probe. There we go. Good. Okay, and then let's re-equip our crossbow here, and so inside this whole time. Wow, it is really wild that Delta is just, like, patrolling around this section. Where is she going? She's, I'm like, waiting. locked onto someone. Huh. Speak okay. Traveler. Anyway, Delina Mondis is in here. Hey! Who are you? Did my father send you? Should we travel together and get out of this place? Travel together? Training? No, actually, I, I just came in here to get some training from you. <laughs> Could you imagine she's been locked up in here for who knows how long? Nobody even really mentions her, right? She's been in here for a while. Her parent, at least one of her parents, is, like, worried sick about her. I think we we had, like, direct contact and dealings with uh, her father in Volume 1 of Morrowind Mondays, right? Was he with House Rudderin? Or maybe it was, like, the Temple, something like that? I can't remember. Maybe the Mage's Guild? I have no idea now. But regardless, right? You can just come in here and just be like, oh yeah, sorry. Really not interested in getting you free, but I would love some short blade training. <laughs> All right, yeah, let's travel together. Shall we try and escape? Yes, follow me. Very well, we will try and escape. Take me outside this tower, Lyle Schnub. Which, of course, in and of itself, they, they don't really give a shit. Right? They don't really care. Oh, look, I can ask about Corpus again. Hmm. Those with Corpus disease go to the Corpusarium. To get there, just keep heading down. Right. Okay. But yeah, they don't really give a shit. I think if you're on this specific quest, you can talk to Devaith about it. And I think he remarks like he forgot she was down there anyway. It's just like, yeah, you can take her. Whatever. <laughs> get her out of here. I don't mind. Uh, I've, oh shit, there we go. Yeah. It's super easy to complete. Like, all you gotta do is just walk around this way. The only- the hardest part is getting to tell fear and opening the door. Alright. Thank you for rescuing me. Please, take my locket to my father, Arethan Mondas. Your locket? I'm safe, but I have duties that cannot be ignored. I will go to my father when I can. In the meantime, please take this locket to my father. I do not know where he is now, but perhaps his old friend, Athan Serethi and Aldrun, can tell you. Oh, Arethan Mondas. Take the locket to him so that he will know that I am safe. Since our manor was destroyed by corpus monsters, I do not know where my father is staying. 
His old friend Ethan Sarethi and Aldrun should know. Oh, did... No way, weird. Do you think her father actually sent her here? Because... Do you think her father or her father's friend, Arethan, sent her here because when the manor was destroyed by corpus monsters, they thought that she got infected? And that she was actually carrying the divine disease. But then it turned out she wasn't, so they, she never went to the corpusarium and whatnot. Oh, that's wild. Here's the question. Do you think anyone ever gets sent to the corpusarium without corpus? Right? You know, very similar to... Oh, what, Jesus, what is the proper term for him? It's, it's like corpusarium. It's what the name is, like, based around. A sanitarium? A sanatorium? Something like that? Um, for like, um, for example, in real life, you know, tuberculosis and all of that, right? A, a whole slew of various real world shit. People would be sent to these places. And sometimes people would just be sent there because other folks wanted them out of their fucking life or whatever, right? It was a super fucked up situation, right? I mean, fuck, like tying back to um, what we were just touching on. Sometimes uh, women would be sent to like tuberculosis sanatoriums or something in real fucking life because their husbands didn't want them anymore and just didn't want to get divorced or whatever right rather than going through something fairly normal they would send them to a fucking place of care f filled with like sick people who were there when they were totally fine shit like that and like doctors and shit would sign off on it because you know like <laughs> fuck they had connections with the doctors or some shit like that super fucked up shit that I had learned about this super duper fucked up real world shit <laughs> and I wonder if this is meant to mirror it in some way or touch on it very slightly I don't know I have no idea I have no idea I think um, if I remember correctly her father is actually like dead right is, is actually dead if at the manor. I think we'll go to the manor, in fact. Let's see. My locket. Take my locket to my father, Arethin Mondas. Okay. Oh, I, I got mixed around that. Ethan Sarethi is the old friend, and Arethin Mondas is the father. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, I could have just looked at your name. Travel together. Thank you, Lyle Schnapp. I have duties I must attend to, and then I must find a way to reach my father. Until then, please deliver my locket to my father, Arathen Mondas. Okay. Very well. I'm waiting. Oh shit, I'm over encumbered. It was just your necklace that was enough to do me in? Yeah, apparently. Okay. Let's see, fuck me. How do we... Hmm. How do we want to handle this? Oh, you know what? Let's try and recall out of here, actually. That's a great idea. Yeah, let's try and recall out of here. Oh my god, beautiful. We got him one. Holy shit. Okay, do I have a magic potion? Because that would be perfect to drink right now to lower our encumbrance. Resist magica, restore magica. Perfect. Got some fortify as well. I'll drink a restore. There we are. Cool. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Okay. Should we rest here and heal up a little bit? Why not? Let's see. Until healed. Yep, we got a level, but we don't want to cash out just yet on it. There we are. At what level do we get... Um... Fucking, what do you call him? The... Oh god, the... Dark Brotherhood attacks, because I have the delay on that. I think it's set to do it... At either a certain player level, or a certain point in the main quest. Which I guess we haven't reached either of those yet. It's probably whichever you reach last? I don't know. Maybe it's level 15, because we are at 14 right now. I have no idea. Okay, so what do we want to carry around with us right now? As nice as Scourge is, because we could summon two dudes, it weighs a whopping 30 units. You know? Which is quite a lot. I'm not sure if it's worth the trouble, because we could get... Summon Dramora and summon Scamp on something else. That's way lower weight. The Daedra Crescent, it's very cool, but once again, it's super duper heavy. Here, we'll just lay these on the bed for now. 
We'll pop Volendrung over there. The Crescent. Let's see. Anything else? We could drop off the, the bow here. Yeah. Let's do that. Let's see. Do I have a bow bound yet? Yeah, the demon long bow. Okay, great. Good. And then anything else here? Hmm. I guess the saint's shield? We don't need to have that equipped. Huh. Yeah, well, here's a question. Would we rather have the saint's shield or the summons from Scourge? Honestly, saint's shield is pretty good, isn't it? Let's see. I've got it bound, in fact, to five here, and I think it's bound as magic. Yeah, so we can quickly cast that if we need to top ourselves up. Yeah, you know what? That's that's probably ideal. That's probably the best way to go. All right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so we'll deposit Scourge here and the Staff of Peace. Well, no, we'll keep the Staff of Peace because that really is, like, super overpowered. All right. Cool. And let's throw some glass down here, too. We'll take the boots with us. Why not? Yeah. Maybe we'll leave... Yeah, we'll take the, the chest piece as well. We can sell that off later once we're in town. Okay, cool. Now, let us cast... Let's see. I'll see the intervention. There we go. Let's whoosh on out of here. Good. And let's head on over to the fucking amazing city of Aldrin, right? We'll check all that out. What does our journal have to say about all this? Let's see. Oh, did I not ever read the shit from Yagrum Bagarn? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think I read all of this. Okay. Devaith Fear has offered to give me a potion that may cure me of corpus disease. It might also kill me, but as he says, I haven't a better choice. All I have to do is go down into the corpusarium, find a corpus victim named Yagrum Bagarn, collect a pair of boots from him, then return to Devaith Fear and he'll give me the potion. Oopsie Fear <laughs> said that if I would find a Gwarskin drum and, get, and bring it to her, she could play the drum to calm the corpus victims. She says the victims wander away with the drum sometimes, so I'll have to search for it. She, did she say that? She didn't say that. Huh. So they will take the drum. Can they play it? Do they have the wherewithal to be able to actually play the drum properly and, like, mimic the sort of beat that she makes on it? Huh. I brought Oopsie Fear a Gwarskin drum so she could play some rhythms to soothe the corpus victims. Yagrum Bagarn gave me the Dwemer boots Devaith Fear asked for. Now, when I deliver these boots to Devaith Fear, he will give me the potion that I hope will cure my corpus disease. I gave Devaith Fear the Dwemer boots from Yagrum Bagarn, and he gave me the potion. It didn't cure me, but it did remove all apparent signs of the disease. Devaith Fear said he didn't actually want to cure me. He just wanted to remove the harmful features of the disease while preserving its virtues. It worked. And now Devaith Fear is eager to test the potion on subjects in the Corpusarium. But I must hurry back to report to the Spymaster and search for the Lost Prophecies. Oh. Interesting. I mean, we knew that that's... That that's what the cure did. But we didn't know that that was originally the intention of the, of the cure from the get-go. Right? Not so much that it was a cure. But that it only got rid of the detriments. That that was the from the beginning it was the intent right which totally works in with like what we were saying about Devaith Fear wanting to use it to extend longevity of a person right because you still want the disease you just don't want the drawbacks of it you want um, like it says all the virtues of it to enhance your strength and longevity Delina Mandis told me that she was caught by Oopsie Fear and placed in this cell she asked to be escorted back outside Telfir. Did she mention Oopsie Fear? I don't think so. Huh. She was caught by Oopsie of all of them. Oh, that's wild. I wonder what she was up to. Caught doing what? Hmm. Delina Mondas made it safely out of Telfir. 
Delina Mondis mentioned that her father, Arethan Mondis, is probably worried about her. She gave me a locket to take to Arethan Mondis as proof that she is safe. Okay. Sure. Let's see. Over here. Let's head on over to Aldrun. Or Aldrun. I do think maybe we should prioritize as well. Clearing out the sixth base the six house base around Balmora, since you know we're House Lalu after all. Maybe after we deal with this with the locket issue. It does seem impor important. Let's see, can we see our friend out there Where yet? Where would you like to go? They might be out there. We just can't see him from here. Maybe they're behind like a tree or something. I feel like if they were gonna be out there, now would be the time, you know? All right, let's see. Take me over to Eldrun. There we go. Cool. Let's do a quick save here. Head on down and over. And I'm pretty sure Ethan Sarethi is the big house writer in Super Quest Giver 500, right? Inside of the Emperor Crab. Right? Ethan Sarethi is old Mr. Sarethi, right? <laughs> I think so. Let's see. Over this way. Good. But yeah, see, this is why it's so always, like we've said before a million times before, this is why it's always so nice to read your journal, especially in Morrowind, because you always get, like, editorializing from your own character. Let's see, Sarethi Manor is over here to the south. Okay. Wonderful. Let's do a quick save as well, just in case. And you're Aethan Sarethi, right? Yes, you okay. are. Hey. I'm Ethan Sarethi, a counselor of House Redoran. What can I do for you? House Redoran? Tell me about that. If you want to join House Redoran, speak with Naminda in the Redoran Council Hall. Let's see. Actually, I want to talk about Arathon Mondas. You might want to go to Ebonard and speak with Lerar Mondas, Arathon's father. Oh, shit. Arathon's father? What? Go to Ebonheart? Oh, fuck. Huh. Alright. Why would I do that? Okay. Sure, let's go to Ebonheart. Holy fuck. Let's see, did we get a journal update? No. Okay. Sure, let's go all the way to fucking Ebonheart. Why not? I don't know if I've ever done this part. Huh. Let's check it out. Let's see, what's our best way to get over there? I guess we could... We could just take the Strider multiple times over to Vivek, you know? That's probably the best bet. Okay, we'll take it to Vivek and then we can take the boat over to Ebonheart, right? Okay. Over here. And then let's go to Balmora. Great. We make a special trip. Because we got the money now. Same low price. To blow on the uh, caravaneers. When you can ride? Okay, and there's our ship over yonder. Great. Beautiful. Wild for me to think that Morrowind is now over 20 years old, huh? Isn't that truly fucking wild? <laughs> Good God. All right. Let's see over here. Hey. Quickly, Outlander. I haven't much time. Let's head over to Ebonheart. Wonderful. Okay. Now, where is our man at? Lerer Mandus. Mondus. Do you happen to know? No, you don't. Speak, Traveler. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure where the hell this person is. Are they just chilling somewhere? We didn't get any information on where they may be. Maybe they're, like, at the inn? They could be at the East Empire Company Hall? Let's see. I mean, they're very likely Dunmary, right? So... <laughs> okay. Let's take a look around here. Oh my god. Can you even be trusted? Really, no. I really cannot. Let's go, let's go on over here. Let's check inside of this building here. The inn, right? It's wild how, how, like, the inn is such a prominent feature of Ebonheart. And yet, you hardly ever go here. What's you know? this about? The six fishes. Come on, I haven't got all day, you know. Let's see. Yes. What's your name? Chanel Lee. 
Who are you? Uh, Ag Agning. Move on. Let's see. And who are you? I'm listening. Jocelyn? Who are these people? I don't know the last time I've been in here. What the fuck? The six fishes. I want to say there's Let's like an Imperial cult or Imperial quick. Legion quest involved in the Come six on, fishes. I got all day, yeah, know. maybe with this dude, with Venice Lush Lushinius. <laughs> Let's see. Anybody up here? We'll just do a quick check. Let's see. Oh, I think Let's get I think she's involved quickly. in something. I don't remember for sure though. Let's get this over with quickly. The six Watch fishes. Check. Can we ask you about our man? Good day. I'm Agning, publican of the Six Fishes here in Ebenhart. We rent beds, and I have a limited selection of goods for barter. If you're new here, I can also tell you where to look for other services or a specific place nearby. If you're looking for someone in particular, I may be able to help. Nah, I'm, I'm good. Do you happen to know? Well, I am actually looking for someone in particular. Oh fuck. Okay. Duke Vadam Dren, Duke of the Duke of Ebenhard, is head of the Grand Council and Uriel the Seventh's representative on Vardenfell. Oh god. Okay, this is just a shitload of names. Very utilitarian. Let's see. Yeah, we're not even looking yeah. Nobody. Nobody knows where this dude is. Okay. Anytime. Maybe they're in the main building, the main castle? I guess we'll see. I don't think I ever bothered to track this person down. They're definitely not the Argonian mission, nor the Skyrim mission. So what do you want? I only have a few moments. I think our best bet is Well, maybe at the Legion Garrison. But that seems unlikely if they have ties to House Redoran, you know? Hmm. Like, the fact that they're in Ebenhard at all seems odd to me, because they have a house. Like, they not only have ties in House Redder and their friends- so. Oh! If it's you! you. Mind, let's move this along. You're Lerer Mondas. Okay. Welcome, Citizen Lyle Schnub. I'm Lerer Mondas, and this is Ebenhard. If you're new here, you'll be wanting to ask about our many services for travelers. And I imagine you wouldn't mind a little advice. Actually, I'd love to know about your granddaughter? Man. <laughs> I guess this is this is, you know, this is Dunmary aging, right? What's the like pregnancy period for Dunmer, right? How long does it take? I'm is it safe to assume it's like roughly the same as real life humans? Right? Because I guess you can get into a weird situation where it's like because myrrh aged so slowly, if you're like, fuck even five generations ahead of someone and you're myrrh, you could very easily be in a position to where you look like almost the same age as them, right? Because of how slow the aging process works for myrrh. <laughs> because frankly, her grandfather and herself look about the same fucking age. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Delina Mondas. You rescued my granddaughter, and I am grateful. Please take this helm from all the Mondas family. Know that you have earned an ally in House Redrin. Oh, really? Okay, House Redrin. We of House Redrin have the honor of serving the greatest and most noble house, for we are the righteous warriors and hereditary defenders of Morrowind. It is very fascinating that he is wearing nearly a full suit of Dwemer armor, considering what happened to his son, I guess. I guess it's, yeah. Well, I guess it could be like son-in-law or whatever. I don't know. But uh, either way, one of his lower, um, what, what, do you, what do you call it? One of his descendants, you know, is involved in corporus and all of that shit. Let's see, let's ask about your granddaughter again. My granddaughter is safe for now, but I fear she will be in trouble again. What? Why? Tell me about Telfir. Telfir is Devaith Fear's tower. 
The only way to get there is to swim straight southwest from Sadrith Mora. Let me mark it on your map in case you get lost. Right, I think you can get the quest from this guy. Which makes sense, because, you know, if you just come into Ebonheart, you see this fucking dude walking around, you're like, whoa, what's going on here? Wearing a full suit of not just any armor, but Dwemer armor. Okay, let's head over here. If anything, you know what? Let's get this over with quickly. Depending on who you talk to, because the trade of Dwemer items is, like, considered kind of illegal, right? But it's, you know, a lot of folks look over it. They're like, eh, okay, yeah. Like, it's gonna happen or whatever, right? But depending on who you talk to, especially if they're, you know, especially stuck up or whatever, very snooty about the law, the sanctity of, of law and all that, they should probably try to, like, get you if you're wearing Dwemer armor, shouldn't they? Similar to the, uh, the Inderil Ordinator armor, you know? Now that I think of it. Okay. Or at the very least, have them say something, not necessarily try to press you for anything, but just say what something. Do you want? Let's see. Let's head on over here to... Oh, should we check? Let's see. Le Lerer Mandus thanked me for rescuing his granddaughter, Delina Mandus. Okay. I think we go back to Aldrun. Let's see here. Vivic Foreign Quarter. I Good. Because I'm pretty sure I know exactly what manner it is. I think it's still... Fucked up? <laughs> I think? I don't know. Okay. Let's go over here. Great. And we'll take the Strider over to Balmora and then back to Aldron again. Trip just Why not? Same low price. Let's see. Oh shit, look at that person over there. Is that a sleeper? There we are. Special trip just for you. Good. Same low. And then let's head up there. Ooh, perfect weather for this. Great. Okay. Do you think we should check in with Ethan Sarethi? Do you think Ethan Sarethi will have something new to say? Probably not. Right. But just on an off chance, because we are going right by the uh, their manor, their little area in the crab. So we may as well. Oh dear God. We've been pretty lucky so far without getting the storms whenever we get into Alderaan, but, uh, I don't know. I don't think the, the rate of them increases as you get further in the main quest, but maybe it does. I can't remember. I don't know. Okay. Let's see here. I am- I do still have that- yeah, I took the, all this shit with us. Okay, good. We also have our ebony closed helm now. Hey, what's up? Let's see. Anything to say about... Oh, we can't even bring it up anymore. Okay. Fair okay, enough. Let make it let's head over then to that manor here. Let's wait until... Let's wait for six hours. Maybe the blight storm will clear up. There we go. And you know what? Hey, let's just go over here and let's jump down. Fuck it, right? There we are. Good. Lovely. Well, no, nope, it's still blowing in. It's still coming in thick. Alright, let's do a quick save. And I'm pretty sure this is the Mondas Manor that they were talking about that got overrun and attacked by Corpus monsters. Oh no, more Vane Manor. What? Is this it? Surely there can't be... Isn't this the one that's overrun by... by Corpus freaks and everything? There can't be two manors within the city of Alderaan that are filled with Corpus monsters and all of that, right? They're just overrun and being destroyed? Where they're just run amok? There can't be two inside of the city gate. That There's just not even a warning sign. They didn't even put up a note. There can't be two. No way. No fucking way. Are there two? Hang on. Let's see. Oh shit. There we go. 
Oh my god, there are two. Oh my god, there, <laughs> there are two. Uh, okay. Maybe this is this is another interesting situation with their name, right? Oh god, they're really pouring out of here. Okay. Oh dear. Okay, okay. Ooh, fuck. Okay. No, I don't wanna I don't wanna attack them. I don't know. Yeah, you're Ramus Morvain. What the fuck? Okay. Well, you know what? Fuck it. We're going to we're gonna blast. We're gonna start blasting. Let's see. There we go. Do we have any bolts or should we just hit up the Yeah, let's just hit up the bow. There we go. Good. Okay. Ooh, fuck! There we are. Something else walking around. We'll take that. Good. And let's see. You, you got anything? No. Okay, should we remove all of their items and place them here? Why not? Good. Yo, where is Morvane Manor then? Or Mondus Manor. Alright, we got more bogeys inbound. There we go. Cool. Good, good, good. All right. <sighs> Takes me back to trying to kite in Dire Mall. Shout out to anybody who knows what the fuck that's about. Oh, look, we got a lot of fun reading here, though. Oh, amazing. Look at all these. Good shit. Okay. Great. Well, let's take some of that. Take some of this. Good. And over here. I guess they did lock up the door pretty well, you know? They gave it a a 70 lock. <laughs> but that said, it is ultimately made of wood. It is just a wooden door. <laughs> they could, you know, canonically speaking, corpus infected anything should be able to knock down a wooden door at some point with their superhuman strength. All right. Seems like a major threat to the entirety of the city. <laughs> All right. Seems like something you might want to at least cordon off from the rest of the town. I don't know. I'm just spitballing here. You know, I don't. I don't run Aldrune, especially not in this playthrough. But hey, seems like it'd be safest to at least put some some notes on the fucking wall. <laughs> Okay, oh look, a shitload of eggs. I'll just munch on them. Oh my gosh, a load of arrows? Hell yes. Okay, let's actually equip them. Good. Almost fired off another blast. Munch on that. Okay. Anything else over here? I think we got rid of all the enemies inside. Oh look. Uh, do you think this house? Do you think the more veins were responsible for getting them all up in here. Wow, look at the detail on the the tapestry for the sixth house, huh? Look at that. It's a very high quality thanks to the texture pack. It looks really good. It's got to be said. Okay. Cool. I honestly, I wouldn't mind having like a just as <laughs> not because I'm I'm all for the the ideals of the sixth house, you know, spread diseases, drive out all the foreigners and stuff, just horrible shit. And not because I'm like purporting the ideas, their ideals and whatnot, but it does look pretty cool as like a fun reference to Morrowind and all that, right? Oh look, some special, oh uh, some ash statues. It only took one. Oh, one more vain ash statue. We better leave that here. We may be able to get the quest. It may be, like, house faction agnostic. Okay. Let's try and pick into this. Can I do it with an apprentice pick? I might be able to. It'll be tough going. 
Let's actually try with a journeyman's. I'm concerned about trying to do with just an apprentice one. There we go. 77 big ones. Okay. Good. Take all this. Great. Good. And you know what? It's just occurred to me. It's not just Morvain Manor either. And wherever Mondas Manor is. Is it even in Aldrun? Where is Mondas Manor? Where is that? Maybe it got completely obliterated? Like it's it got destroyed so badly, like it got wiped off the map. Is that possible? Like the entire house might come down because these dudes are in here just pissed as shit? Is that possible? But anyway, 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 going back. It's not just here inside of the city that has like a corpus threat. There's the other dude, <laughs> remember? The party guy. What's his fucking name? Who who's like with the temple and all that. There's a temple quest line where there's a dude in a basement in here who's all about the sixth house. He like gets indoctrinated or whatever. Huh. Make it quick, Outland. Okay. Let's see. Can we find this Mondas house? Lervu. Galthragoth. Oris, Ilmaril, Andreth Andrethi, Gildans, Torian, Claren, Usut Lanipal, Merchandise. <laughs> that's, their, that's their last name. Merchandise. They must be an Imperial. <laughs> that's a very Imperial surname. <laughs> Let's see. Sarandus, Arethi. No. Where is Mondas Manor? Huh. Where's their house at? What the heck? Because it's not one of these. This would have been my, my next guess. But apparently that's not the case. Let's do a quick save. Let's see. Maybe it's out elsewhere, like in the wilds. Hey, Brainus Lervu. I don't know you. What do you want? Get cured. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> Great. Here, let's take care of some of these. Get these cliff racers out of here. Well, it's clear as day. There we go. Gotcha. Oh, beautiful. Perfect. Look, it paid off. Yeah, I'm not sure where Mondas Manor is. Huh. Maybe it's like out at Margon or whatever? I guess, I guess they never mentioned, let's see, Arethan Mondas. Hmm. Yeah, they never said exactly where their manor was, just that his old friend, Athan Sarathi, was in Aldrun. Where is their manor? Do we know? Does it exist in the game? Huh. This has never occurred to me. Oh, that's so strange. That's so bizarre. Okay. Sure. Huh. Here, let's sell off some of our weird shit before we head out. Right. We can sell off a few items here, like this limeware shit. We could do that. Or, you know what? Hey, let's stow it back at our base of operations, and we can head on over and deal with the six house base nearest to Balmora. I don't know if we want to go out and do all of them, but I think at least Balmora, since we're House Lalu, it feels kind of fitting. Okay. So let's get rid of this limeware shit. There we go. Oh, look, we have another closed helm here. Apparel. Hmm. You know what? We're just going to throw it down right here. Why not? There we go. Oh shit, I just threw it onto the floor. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, whoops, I've placed two for one. Oh, you know what? It's just a nightmare already. There we go, fine. <laughs> it's perfect, beautiful. <laughs> Alright, we'll tend to it later. We'll tend to it later. Alright. Welcome, friend. Now we extend you our warm regards. What, what is that? our best way to get over to it? Because I know exactly where it's at. I think we want a divine intervention. And this should take us to Buck Moth, right? Or Moon Moth? I forget which one. Yes, on, perfect. Got all day, you know. Okay, great. 
And then... We can also take a look... Out over there, because there should be somebody. Right? There should be... Huh. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there's someone. You know what? Let Yeah. So this person right here... Scared the shit out of me as a kid. Because of course, you know, if you're new to the game, it makes sense. Especially if you're in House Lalu. It, it makes sense that you would come through this road a whole lot, right? And this is one of the more friendly and inviting parts of the, the map, right? So, you know, especially if you're a kid who's a little bit more afraid of going into the Ashlands and, and all of that stuff. Uh, you're keen to come around here. And then you run into this new person who's here. A dream talk too much, Outlander. You have betrayed Lord Dagoth. Taste his vengeance. Oh, what's your background? I asked myself, do I like you enough to tell you about this? I don't know, do you? That's crazy, get lost. Here, take some money, and then tell me about yourself. There we go. Background? I dream dreams. Soul of the Sixth House. Flesh of Lord Dagoth. Oh, does he not actually attack? Huh. I think he just scared me. Yeah, he doesn't actually attack. There's someone in this city, though, who will attack you, I believe. All right. Let's go on over here. Good, good, good. Maybe I have just completely imagined that they attack you, right? Maybe I've just worked myself into this because it scared me so much as a kid. But yeah, I've mentioned this before a bazillion times, but... This whole turning point in the main quest, where the sleepers awake, the dreamers start showing up, regular townspeople start to say weird shit to you if you talk to them. Even their, like, ambient dialogue when you go up to them, they'll start to say the weird lines and all that scary shit. Scared me so much as a kid. I guess almost 20 years ago, because I didn't get Morrowind as soon as it came out. Too fucking broke. We got the, uh, we rented it, and then the first version of Morrowind that I ever bought was the platinum hits edition uh for for the original xbox but um i played that and it got me to make a new character because i was so scared of what had happened i was like holy shit i'm not ready for the main quest i'm not ready for it. this is too fucked up this is too scary right <laughs> good lord I wonder if, uh, we, we talked about this as well in the, the recent Skyrim playthrough, because it, it's always so fascinating to me. Like, it's really easy for me to see, um, as far as Bethesda games go, BGS games, how, like, a Fallout game could be scary, right? It's easy to see that, right? Like, just from the get-go of playing, like, especially Fallout 3 or, like, New Vegas, um, how, like, oh, yeah. It, I could very easily see how this would be scary to a kid. Whereas with something like Morrowind or Skyrim or Oblivion, you gotta get a little bit deeper into the game to, to see parts that are like, oh shit, this is actually fucking terrifying. If you were a little kid with a really overactive imagination, this could theoretically just scare the shit out of you. <laughs> right? I wonder if, like, uh, Starfield will continue down that road, right? Will there be some light horror elements to Starfield? Fuck. I kind of hope so, right? You know, why shouldn't it, <laughs> why should the newest generation of kids who are just being introduced to BGS games via Starfield, right? Because, you know, there's always a first time for everybody. Everyone, all these games, there's always going to be someone, it'll be someone's first game. Um, why shouldn't they also get traumatized horribly by some nightmarish shit? Maybe there'll be some weird eldritch space cosmic horror in, in Starfield. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, fuck, we know that, that Bethesda seems to enjoy putting those uh, in their games every now and then, especially with Fallout, right? They enjoy cosmic horror every now and again uh, with a fun little reference. That with uh, with Starfield, they have a great reason to go all the fuck in. <laughs> it just occurred to me. Wow, should we expect there to be just a little at the periphery of, of Starfield? Should we anticipate some cosmic horror? I don't know. I'm kind of, <laughs> kind of now think there may be. All right. Let's put down a marker here. Let's see. Cleared. Good. Just preemptively. 
And this is the place, right? This is it. In we go. Oh, and it's very nicely lit and everything. Oh, wonderful. And you can hear all the horrible sounds. Cool, great. Oh my gosh, they're powering up and everything. Good. Just deftly avoiding their shit. Oh dear. Okay. Oh god. I'm absorbing their power. Fantastic. Oop, didn't absorb some of these. Okay. There we go. Good. Whew. Hachimachi. Okay. Let's rest until healed. Why not? Skip that. Alright, what have you got? Some salts. I'll munch on them. We'll take an arrow. Good. Take another arrow. Great. Okay. Oh, look. Another horrible bastard. Running along, coming along. There we go. Got you. Good. Okay. Let's take all that. Munch on your secretions. Okay. Oh, look. There's a little tiny something right here. We'll drink that, too. And let's do a quick pick here. Great. Okay. We'll take that. Good. Let's re-equip our bow. You know what? Let's also repair it a bit. It's at, like, almost half durability, which means almost half the damage. Okay. Very well. Over this way. What else have we got? Oh. They really blend in quite well until they cast their shielding. Okay. There we are. Easy does it. Oh yeah. Eat a bite. Look at that. Deflecting their magic blasts with our own arrows. I don't think if you... If you deflect it right as it's on top of them, and it's an AoE and they're within the blast radius, it doesn't actually hurt them. Similar to how, like, if you are casting an AoE spell on the ground right next to you and your character model is inside of the blast radius, it doesn't affect you. It would be pretty neat if that were the case, but at the same time, if you were the player and you had that happen to you, that would suck ass, considering how fucking gigantic some of the AoEs you can get uh, to scale up, right? They can get enormous, just, like larger than the blast radius of, speaking of Fallout earlier, of like a Fat Man blast going off. Okay. Anything over here? There we go. Yeah, we're good. Alright. Cool. Just, you know, some caves whispering weird shit to us. It's ASMR. <laughs> Alright. It is kind of asmr isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. What have we got over here? Ooh. Oh, this is actually kind of a big dungeon, huh? Hasor Shrine. Alright. Well, you know what? Maybe we'll save that for next time. We'll just explore this floor. Alright. Up and over this way. Ah, down here. Is there actually something good down here? Looks like there's something. Oh, it's another doorway. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, what have we got? A source shrine again. Okay. Cool. Anything up top on this? Hmm. I don't... I didn't see anything from up above. Here, I guess we can, like, cheat it a bit. We can swing our camera up here. <laughs> Take a good look. Okay. We see anything cool up there? No? Nope, perfect. <laughs> look at that... <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. What a great idea, huh? So we don't have to burn a charge on our fucking daggers. <laughs> Ingenious, man. A real Morrowind-ass solution, if I do say so myself. All right. When next we come back, we're heading in deeper into a sewer. We're going to clean all this out, right? Get rid of the Sixth House influence and hopefully help some of the folks of Balmora so they're not uh, having some terrible dreams and, you know, speaking in tongues and whatnot and wanting to go just like flay their flesh and get shirtless for Dagother, right? 
<laughs> Until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs> <laughs>